Hello. Join us as we delve into the world of long-term food storage. Even though you may have little of this and little of that, you can still store long-term using food grade buckets and gamma lids. Let me show you how. Hello, my name is Jersey. Welcome to my channel. Let's jump right in. These are the Azure Standard brand of the food grade buckets, these white ones, and the yellow lids are the gamma lids. Over here, these other two, I will be replacing out later when I get my other buckets from Azure Standard. They're food grade from Tractor Supply. Same thing with the gamma lids. I got those from Tractor Supply. They cost a lot more than the Azure Standard, especially if you buy in bulk like I did. But for now, they're gonna suffice, and then Ray will get the Tractor Supply ones to put his grains in. And this is another type of food grade bucket that we got locally for $4. I believe frosting was in it. But if you're unsure if it's food grade, different buckets have different symbols. Just learn to know what they look like. There's an arrow pointing to the wine glass food grade. If it wasn't, it would have an X on it and it would have been pointing that way. Or maybe you can ask your local deli or bakery if they have food grade buckets. We got plenty of them during the years from Publix. And these are also the food grade buckets that I used in my water wicking garden. Look up there. I will leave the tutorial how to make that. Very important, even if you're growing food, to use food grade buckets, in my opinion. Because the plastic could leach into your food. That's why it's safe to use food grade plastic when you're growing. And here I broke it down for you. So tractor supply, the bucket was cheaper, but the gamma lid was a lot more. Note, the more you buy from Azure Standard, the better off your savings will be. But I went bucket for bucket and lid for lid. So buying the combo of the two, you are saving $3.43 each for going through Azure Standard. That, to me, is a great savings. If you want to see more videos with the Azure Standard, check out my playlist. Look up there, and I'll also leave the link below this video. And I briefly just want to go over how I store these. This is my sheet that I use. I find it a lot easier to use a numbering system versus if I wrote heirloom white wheat on this and then I changed it and I would have to take the label off, the tag off. This way the bucket will always be 0103 and so on. They will never change the numbering system. The only thing will change is the contents that are in them, which is easily able to change on my sheet that I designed. So it's so much easier. And I'm grouping them, as you will see. I'm grouping them as, well, these are 25 pound. So the whole buckets are filled with these. And then here I'm grouping them as they are. Like these are the buckwheats, the oats, barley, and so forth. And then I even created, while I had my Cricut machine out, extra numbers. I started with an Excel sheet, and it's hard for me to read. So I went and cut the vinyl out, permanent vinyl, out of my Cricut, and I did extra ones. So when I want to fill these up, I'll have them already done. So according to my sheet, if I'm looking for whole barley, pearl barley, Bob's red meal barley, or Bob Sorghum, it's in bucket number seven. Now here's a little device that Raymond made for me because I cannot get these gamma lids open as tight as you're supposed to close these, I can't get them open. So he made this little device for me. It's made out of wood. I pull it away from the wall. So I grab the handle, turn left. You'd be surprised how many little bags fit into this big bucket. Get what I need out of the bucket and put it right back. Everything in these buckets, except for the large 25 pound bags, all these go in the freezer for three days. Then they go in my primitive room underneath the fan for two days. So there's no moisture, there's no nothing. And I let them completely dry out before I put them in the buckets. And then I just put the lid back on. And I usually hold the handle. I do it as tight as I can. That's probably good enough, but I like to go a little extra. And by using the tool, I can get it a lot tighter. I don't use these all the time. I have smaller versions of some of the food into my pantry cabinet. 
I don't come in here every time I need a cup of hard red wheat. I have containers of them in my pantry and I come here if when I need to read this is one version of my pantry I have another antique storage cabinet I'll show you that but this is where I store smaller things that are duplicate of what's in the big barrels there's some things I don't have enough of that this is all I have of them but for barley or something like that I have about a pint, sometimes a pint and a half, of what I will use for a meal, and then I'll go refill it. I don't want to go to those buckets every single time I need a little bit. That's just how I am, and it has worked for me for a very long time doing it like that. This is short-term storage, and then the long-term storage are the big buckets. where I store my grains and sugars so I don't have to go in there all the time and I I have a little of my jams and jellies. Hard red wheat, this was only a five gallon bag. I ordered a 25 pound bag for next month. I didn't know how I'd like it, I really like it. So this is how I will store my grains partially so I don't have to go in because I make bread almost every single day, some type of bread. And there's my sugars, this is my sprouted heirloom soft white and this is how much I went through in the last week and a half so I will go in this weekend and I will fill this whole thing up but this way I don't have to go in there all the time so I do a little bit of storage that will get me through a couple of weeks or a month or so so I don't have to go in and fill them up constantly and open the buckets because I use these enough that I don't have to worry about bugs or anything getting in them because the wheats and the sugars I'm in almost every single day seven days a week and this is how I store my 25 pounds of organic cane sugar it's amazing 25 pounds doesn't even put a dent in these buckets I was surprised how much will actually fit into these buckets I will show you the wheat too and here is soft white wheat berries 25 pounds minus a few cups but there's plenty of room. So 25 pounds will definitely fit in these buckets. And another reason why I like these buckets, they're aesthetically pleasing to look at. This tractor supply riding and the circle and all that, it's just overwhelming and it looks cluttery. Azure Standard is very nice. I put all the red, their mandatory label for children drowning, on the right. So it's all cohesive. But to me, I really like them. I'm glad I got the yellow li the lids. Um, you can't choose what color you want. I'm glad I got the yellow because I did not want the green or the red. But just, just a few ways of storing your bulk goods and... The gamma lids to me, and of course the food grade buckets, are my only way to go. And I hope you will check it out and try it for yourself to see if it's worth it to me investing thousands and thousands of dollars into this organic non-GMO food. Storing it will be half the battle, keeping out the bugs and the critters and water or anything. So I'm just protecting my investment like you would a safe. And that's what I consider these, and it's well worth it to me. Leave a comment below. Do you store in food grade buckets with gamma lids, or do you just store another way? And let me know, because I'd be interested in that too. Click to show more below this video, and you will also find my referral link to Azure Standard. And after your first order, you'll be able to have your own referral link. And this is Jersey saying thank you for visiting. Have an awesome day, and see you on the next video.